Hey everyone, welcome to another episode from Mpro Engineering. This is going to be another installment of the My Car series, and for those of you not familiar with how these My Car series work, this is just going to be talking about this particular car, in this case here, a Tamiya Falcon. And I mean that it's the one on my workbench, not the one in your collection, not the one that Tamiya produced, this exact one here. So without further ado, let's talk about My Falcon. So when I got this car, it looked really good. Unfortunately, closer inspection showed that every single one of the joints where the screw pins were installed were split. On top of that, the shock towers were cracked in the top area here. Um, at the rear, the rear shock mounts were split. The rear arms weren't too bad. There were a couple little minor cracks here and there, but I very quickly discovered that the car was kind of a mess. So that was what led me to redesign initially the front upper and lower control arms as well as the shock towers and redesign the geometry and make them more robust and all that but further development quickly showed that everything was breaking here at the bottom on the bulkhead so that led me to develop a new bulkhead and a new front bumper i like the style bumper that the tamiya hornet had so that was what i went for here is that tubular bumper I printed this front bumper using the Hewlett Packard nylon SLS printer and I mean they are both really cool looking you, know, you can paint these I decided to go with you know keeping it uh, this gray color which it came with a matte clear coat added these little front lights again very similar to the Ampro Hornet front bumper and here at the belly it's very very smooth because it tucks into the bulkhead when you install it got this lower chassis brace and everything I'm talking about here has been covered in a previous video so there are links in the description uh, as well as links to all these parts on Shapeways as well. This part was really cool because this helps to redistribute the load from the front bulkhead to the chassis using these two pickup points here as well as the servo mount directly behind it. So that's kind of cool. I did go for a non-box art color scheme. I'm not a box art fan. To me, when, you know, the instruction manual tells me or to decal or to paint something a certain way, that's, I'm like a five-year-old. It's like, I'm not going to do it if you're telling me to do it. So that's kind of what I did is I uh, went ahead and painted it in the very common Ampro colors, which are usually a silver, magenta, orange, and yellow. Due to the vast amounts of yellow on the car, there is no yellow on the body. I went with this little black kind of canopy look right there. I always like those little details. In terms of uh, even the decals on the car, these are genuine decals of actual products that I use. MCI Racing does a lot of my decals. The Team Blue Groove Body. The car is powered by Novak. The number six, I believe, is from a Grasshopper 2. Got some Ampro decals. Ampro decals, by the way, are available through MCI Racing. There's a link up right now. Got some Shapeway stickers there. I wish there was a link for those because I, I beg Shapeways for those all the time. Real simple paint scheme. You know, I just, these are all just standard Tamiya masking tapes that I just cut in a certain way just to make it simple. You know, I don't want to go too crazy on it. Uh, the rear wing on this car, again, another Ampro product that has it so that the wing is a separate part because when, when the wing is attached to the body i'm always concerned that a couple rollovers and the wing mounts on the body will be trashed so in this case here if the wing is ever damaged or destroyed we just get rid of it and the body is perfectly unharmed removing the body speaking of so again this is a team blue groove body i really really like those in comparison to the original the thickness has got to be 50 to 75 percent greater very very stiff with still a reasonable amount of flex, and they, they look exceptionally good. I really like these bodies. So looking a little closer at the car, we do have the Ampro upper frame brace. Again, this goes through the factory mounting points for the front bulkhead, and then it uses the pickup points for the, in this case, the Stadium Blitzer mechanical speed control mount, but if you do have a standard Falcon, uh, you would just ignore this one here. It would also clearly negate the standard position for the mechanical speed control servo. So you'd have to raise that. To be honest, I don't know if it'll still work because I have no intention of ever using a mechanical speed control. Even though this one is there simply for decor, it takes them out of my 
storage drawer. So that's the only reason why I have it there. The card does have a Duster 2 ESC. I 3D printed a little polyjet mount for a little fan just to keep it nice and cool. Using a 2.4 gigahertz FlySky receiver. I've got a million of these in my different cars. This is a Stadium Blitzer battery retainer that I uh, built for this one here. So I'm just gonna drop straight in there. I love running these Dean's connectors. I have them on all my cars. I know they're kind of dated now, but they still work beautifully for all my vehicles. The car does have a slightly upgraded motor. This is a, this is a Trinity Midnight motor absolutely bulletproof little motor and gives the car plenty of power fully ball raced of course i'd lubricate this with graphite powder i find that using anything that is liquid or grease will simply attract basically junk in there so the graphite powder really works well the downside is it you do have to do it fairly often here you can see at the rear this is the ampro rear shock tower with the support brace here that attaches to the rear bulkhead as well as the rear wing mount. So you can get them with just the standard shock tower mounts. And then there's one that has these mounts integrated with a diagonal brace. And then there's, of course, this one here. These all can be picked up at Shapeways as well as my mini factory. The car is running its original bathtub. And, you know, I don't beat the thing up too much because it's old. And this, this plastic is really brittle anymore. It's a mixture of ABS plastic and polycarbonate. So it gives it um, a good amount of rigidity, but at a cost, it, it does become fairly inflexible and brittle. What else can we talk about here? The car is running its factory shocks, which I've, I've always felt have been very, very good to this car. I did recently install some new Grasshopper 2 wheels and tires. I know the car should have yellow rims, but I don't know, perhaps the car is yellow enough? I don't know. Maybe it is. And I also wanted to mention that the auxiliary lamps here and here are not Tamiya units. These are Ampro units that will mount in the exact same fashion, except these are single piece housings with a separate front panel. This will allow you to install it here on the Falcon where the orientation of the KC is at roughly a 45 degree angle. But should you ever want to change it, with the original Tamiya units, you'd be kind of stuck because the decal would now be at 45 degrees. With these, you would just loosen that screw right there, orient it the way you want it, re-lock it down, and you're all set. It also makes painting it an absolute breeze because the two pieces are independent of each other, which means a nice, crisp line. It is running a Futaba 3003 servo, really basic stuff. And I've got this little mount that I 3D printed here. There's a video on this as well where it's a standard Novak on and off switch that is crimped in place and allows it to fit in the standard location there. So I kind of like that. So my friends, that is about it with the Ampro Falcon. It's been a very, very enjoyable car to drive. It's been funny because it's a lot more refined than I thought it was going to be. You know, this is basically a replacement to the Hornet, but, um, you know, it's it's a good running car. I really enjoy it. And this car might be around for the long haul. So my friends, there it is. The Ampro Tamiya Falcon. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.